Hello, this is Easy Target coming at you with another Diablo 3 video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to take off the Witch Doctor and start leveling and start gearing up as fast as possible. There's only two items that you have to push for and try to get, and then you can just go ahead and farm up and go to town. But let's go ahead and jump on into the game and see what I'm talking about. Alright, the Witch Doctor is my favorite class by far. It's the one that I played for hundreds of hours. This is what I do. Uh, but basically, Basically, the Mana Jumas set, the uh, weapon and the offhand for the chicken and the knife, is what you want to get. It's going to make your chicken last for 15 seconds. Uh, at the end of the 15 seconds, you just explode, and it does a lot of uh, AoE damage to the enemies around, and it will do uh, explosive damage. So it blows up one, and then it's going to do extra damage to the next one. So it blows up groups really, really well. If you go up to a, um, an elite pack, you can blow them up basically with one hit. And this is basically going to be starting off, and as you can see, uh, with basically all yellows besides the uh, set of the uh, the weapon and the offhand, that's the only set that we're going to have besides um, all these yellows in here. I only have uh, two gems in there, just basic gems for level 70, uh, and I have 515 damage. Uh, I did go through and I did re-roll some of the uh, yellows just to make them a little bit better, so that's highly recommended as well. So you want to go through, make sure you have as much critical hit chance and critical hit damage on your, your hands. You want to make sure that you roll a critical hit chance on your helmet. Um, I don't have gems, you could even put gems in here if you want a little bit more damage there. Uh, your wrist to have a critical hit chance, that was a pretty good roll on me. I just went through the um, the blacksmith and I just created these. These are all crafted items right here. You don't, you don't have to find anything extra. Um, you don't have to have anything extraordinary or anything like that. Um, these rings, I just went to the jeweler and I crafted these rings. Uh, the one has critical hit damage and critical hit chance. The other one doesn't have anything besides intellect. So uh, not that big of a deal to have everything on there. Uh, the shoulders, just basic, just uh, int bit uh, life. And um, haunt damage, we're not even using haunt. Oh yeah, we are. We, you, I'm using haunt right now. So uh, you can change that up with Locust Storm, whatever you feel like is uh, is better for you. I find I run out of mana a lot of times whenever I'm going through there. Uh, but besides that, that's going to be it. Um, the offhand has the critical hit chance, and then I do have a socket. And I do have uh, one of the best gems in there possible, but if you can go ahead and just spend up all your money as, uh, as much as you can just try to get the biggest gem possible to put in here if you get the first square one uh, that's good to go just put that sucker in there and it's going to give you a whole bunch more damage but if you can max it out that would be best uh, and then moving on over to the skills we're going to go ahead and get spirit walk just go ahead and move through the levels just a little bit easier you have your hex for the angry chicken of course so you can move through the levels super super quick uh, if you do the spirit walk and then the hex, you'll go super, super quick. And then once the spirit walk's done, then you'll just slow down to that speed. Uh, and then you got Horrify. That's just a little bit extra damage. You can replace that with anything that you want, basically. And then you got Gargantua, and he's going to do some damage for you whenever you're pushing around. And if, you're, uh, if your hex chicken doesn't kill things, then your Gargantua is going to help you out with that. Then you got Haunt. Just go ahead and put on there. Just get a little bit extra damage. So the, the main target you want to kill. Go ahead and put that uh, haunt on them, and then you got uh, wall of death, and that's going to transition over into the uh, the set pieces. Whenever you get the full set of hell tooth, that's going to give you a bonus damage. So you want to go ahead and cast that first, and then go ahead and do your hex chicken. Uh, both of them are 15 seconds, uh, because whenever you put that down, it's going to give you the buff for 15 seconds, and your hex chicken is 15 seconds. So if you pop that and then go through the map, then you should have your buff until you explode your chicken. Um, and then let's go ahead and pop into a rift, and I'll show you how this works. Pop it into just normal rift. We're on T1. And this is going to get you started just so you can get that gear going. I'll make sure my gargantuan's popped. And then I'm just going to go ahead and get started here to pop that chicken. And get up to the first elite there. And just instantly, everything is just dead with that first hit. And uh, I forgot to go over your um, your passives here. Let me back out just a second here. So I can go ahead and show the passives that we got here. Uh, passives. Um, I just got some random ones. These really don't matter. We can actually change some of these. Uh, but main one is going to be this Grave Injustice. The other three you can go ahead and change up for just a little bit more damage. Uh, but Grave Injustice is going to give you your cooldown for each kill that you get. And that's going to be key for repopping your Hex Chicken. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and just go ahead and push through here just a little bit more. I'm just going to basically push through and look for these elites whenever I go through here. Um, 
you just keep pushing through, pushing through. You have 15 seconds before it explodes, so if you see a, a decent group, go ahead and explode on them. And that's when you go ahead and reset your, um, your hex chicken. And then you can just go ahead and pop it again and just keep on moving. If you don't have your hex chicken yet, you can just go ahead and use your spirit walk just to keep on moving through. But you're just going to keep on pushing through here. Keep on pushing through. Uh, looking for the elites. we got an elite right pack right here. I'm going to use my horrify. I'm going to put some haunts on everything right here. And then I'm going to come back around and I'm going to try to explode them all up. This guy didn't die because he had the uh, shield on him. But I just give him a second and get my hex chicken back up. And boom, he goes down. Uh, the hex chicken is basically going to give you your uh, the most damage that you have here. Whenever you're playing through here and you get more uh, set pieces and you get your health to set. Basically if you get the short man fingers that's just going to amplify your damage a lot right there too. Because your gargantuan is just going to go through there and just destroy everything with those little mini guys. Uh, and then again whenever you get that health tooth uh, full set you get the uh, amplified damage after you pop down your wall of death. And then you have 15 seconds, you come over here, and you could probably pop this thing up pretty good just for having the uh, full health tooth set. Just go ahead and get it there and just explode things. I think it's like, uh, let me see here. It is 4,400 more damage. Uh, 4,400 more damage. So that's an insane amount of extra damage uh, just for popping down your wall of death. But just keep on moving through here like this, and you can just speed through these rifts, and then go ahead and start getting your uh, greater rift keys. Uh, get some lucky drops. Maybe you can get some uh, pieces to your set while you're just playing through here. Um, and yeah, that's uh, basically the way that you want to do this. This will be really good for doing uh, greater or not greater rifts pushes, but um, uh, bounty runs whenever you're going through and you're trying to get mats. This is a really good way to try to speed run them. Uh, just go ahead and pick a level that you can actually kill the uh, elites with one explosion like that. Sometimes it's a little bit harder because the elites spread apart and you can't get them all together. But in that case you just sit back, um, hit them up with some haunts, uh, put the wall of death down, and then your gargantuan will kill them. Or if, you're, um, if your hex comes back off of cooldown, go ahead and just do another hex on them. Right here, boom, I didn't kill them. But I'm just going to go ahead and hit him up with some haunts. Let's wait for that hex to come back. And it is back. And then boom, I just killed everybody with that one hit right there. Uh, I guess I hit him the first time. But um, it is really, really good damage. Use your spirit walk if you need to uh, evade some of the uh, damage right there. Get out of the way. But there's lots of big groups on this one. So it's doing really, really good here. There's elites after elites on here as well. So just got to group up as many things as possible. Um, and you should be good to go. Um, I do, I forgot, I do have some uh, some points into my uh, into my charts right there. So that is helping me out a little bit. But you should be able to do this T1 with no problem. Um, just keep on going through here. If it's not the one hit, you should just be able to back off and get two hits for sure. Uh, with basically no uh, Paragon levels. But we're done, and that was it. So that was the Rift Guardian, already killed. Uh, barely even knew it was the Rift Guardian. I thought it was just a leap for their second while I was just talking. Uh, but once you get some of this cleared up, you can go ahead and back out, and then start a new Rift up, and get on to farming. All right, and to be able to get the pieces of gear, this uh, Manajuma's uh, knife and the Manajuma's uh, offhand here, uh, the best way to do it is just push through the rifts. Uh, whenever you get your blood shards, come over here to Kadala. And go ahead and roll on your mojo and your weapon. So if I do a weapon and a mojo, that just gives me um, these things right here. If they didn't give it to you, obviously, uh, then you want to come over to your cube right over here. And you want to go ahead and try to convert this up to, um, to convert it up to uh, a legendary. So put that gear in there, fill it up, put your weapon in that you want to upgrade it to. Uh, you got to make sure that you have all the necessary uh, pieces. And then you hit um, transmute, and that's going to go ahead and pop that weapon. I'll go ahead and do it. That is going to go ahead and pop that weapon over to a uh, legendary weapon. And here it didn't give me one, but that is the best way to try to upgrade and get to the pieces that you want. All right, just to go over it again, it's just you want the uh, Manajuma's uh, knife, and you want the Manajuma's offhand for the chicken and the knife. And that's going to give you your anchored chicken for 15 uh, seconds and then your massive explosions at the end because this gives you a 400% uh, increase as well.
Well, I hope I hope this has helped you out, and uh, you can get to the farming uh, and get going. This is a pretty fun build. Uh, once you add some of these pieces right here, and you actually get this health to set into your uh, uh, lineup here, you'll be doing tons and tons of damage, and you'll be able to bump it up. You can actually do T12 with no problem, just pushing through there once you get the full set. Uh, survivability may be a little bit of an issue, but um, it's not too bad. Uh, just keep trying if you're having issues, and you'll eventually get it and figure it out how to use it. If you have any questions, just go ahead and leave them down in the comment. Uh, please go ahead and subscribe if you like this video. Uh, also, give me a thumbs up. Help me out. Other than that, this is easy, and I'm out.